I want you always beside me. Love like ours must be made for you and for me. Return, won't you return my love for oh, my angry because I'm missing 50% of my horns and all of my patients with percentages. You may be as well. Welcome to another edition of Math and Silly Hats. Today we're going to be looking at finding a percentage of a total amount with real world problems. Now if you look at these problems, they're kind of a mouthful. So we're going to use a strategy to break them down into more easily chunkable pieces. The strategy is called pies. We're going to draw a picture or a chart or graph, highlight the important information, write an equation, and then solve it. As if you look at just this block of text, it's likely hard to solve at a glance. So first, I'm going to read this and draw a picture. Caitlin started to run on a treadmill after setting its timer for 81 minutes. Ambitious. The display says that she finished 68% of her run. How many minutes have gone by? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so she's running. Let's draw a circle. Nice circle. So if she were to run 100% of her time, she would have run the whole amount, or all of 81 minutes. But she only ran 68% of that. So that's just a little less than 3 fourths of that time. So certainly less than 81 minutes. That's my P, my picture. Now let's highlight the important information from this passage. Caitlin started to run on a treadmill, it's just fluff, setting its timer for 81 minutes. I'm going to include the units there. The display says that she finished 68% finished of her run. How many minutes? So here's what it's asking us. How many minutes have gone by? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. This is also really important because we can do all the math right and submit the wrong answer because we didn't round to the nearest tenth. So that was my information, my I. Next, I'm going to finally write an equation. So the total was 81 minutes. I want to know how many minutes have gone by. So let's define our variables. Well, we really only need to know one. So let's call m minutes gone by. Now we don't know the minutes gone by, but we can find it because it's a percentage of the total. Notice I've written of in blue. For my other lesson on the difference between percentages of a amount and percentages off of an amount. They're two very different words. Here, we're just going to find this percentage as a decimal and multiply it by the whole amount to find the percentage of that amount. So we know our M is going to be equal to 68% of 68% of 81 minutes. Now before we can plug this into a calculator, we'll need to change this percentage to a decimal. Well, there are 100% and a whole amount, so we can convert this quickly. as we're always dealing with the possibility of 100%, this is just going to be the decimal 0 0.68. So finally, we're ready to solve our problem. Let's replace this percentage with our 
decimal representation so we can multiply the two. And we're going to put this in our calculator. So I'm going to pull my Alex calculator. And I had 0.68 times 81 minutes. Again, 68% of 81 minutes will just be that percentage as a decimal times the whole amount. Now you'll notice I have an answer here, but did I answer the question? Well, we wanted to round our answer to the nearest tenth. So before we submit this, we want to round this to the nearest tenth. Here's the tenth digit, so we're going to look to the right and note that that is five or more. So this is going to round up to 55.1. Let's go ahead and put this in as our answer. 55.1 minutes. Let's do another problem. For our second problem, we have a mixture of acid and water. So this chemist has a vessel of some sort. It's not very big. It's only 343 milliliters. So let's first, before we do any of the math, represent that with a picture. So we're going to start our pies process, the picture. I'm going to draw a beaker. And this has 343 milliliters of solution in it. So we know that there are a total of 343 milliliters of solution. Now, 13.3% of the solution is acid. So not all of this is acid. So if this is 100% of the solution, 13.3% would all only be around here. So that's the acid. We would expect this to be a much smaller number than 343 because only 13.3% of 343 milliliters, just over 10%. So we're expecting somewhere in the neighborhood of 35 or so milliliters. But let's do the math. Next, we need to highlight important information. So we're going to go back to the text and find what information is important. A chemist is using 343 milliliters. Again, the unit is important of a solution of acid and water. So it's just acid and water. Nothing else. 13.3% of the solution is acid. How many milliliters of acid are there? So we're asked to find the acid. Now note, they could have asked us to find the water. Again, we're gonna be rounding our solution to the nearest tenth. Now that we've found the pertinent information, let's write an equation. So we wanna find the milliliters of acid. So let's call A, milliliters of acid. Again, we know that it's just going to be a percentage of the solution. So we just need to change this percentage to a decimal and find that much of the whole solution, 343 milliliters. So our acid is going to be equal to 13.3% of 13 three percent of 343 milliliters. Now again, we need to change this percentage to a decimal so that we can multiply these two. So there are a hundred percent in a whole and we've got 13.3 percent of a hundred percent. So that will simply be 0 
three. Now that we've got the decimal representation, we're ready to solve. I'm going to replace my percentage with its decimal equivalent. So I'm going to rewrite this equation with 0 0.133 here. And then we can plug this into our Alex calculator. So opening up our calculator, we had 0 0.133 as the decimal representation of 13.3%. And then that was of our whole solution, which was 343 milliliters. We press the equals button. Here's our solution, but it's not rounded to the nearest tenth. So we'll need to round this to the nearest tenth. The tenth digit is right here, so we'll look to the right. This is not five or greater, this is four or less. So we're gonna round this down to 45.6 and take off these extraneous digits. We now have our solution rounded to the nearest tenth we're going to enter that into our answer bank, 45.6 milliliters. Hopefully you found this useful and that now you're able to solve percentage problems on your own in Alex. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye!